Oh, hey guys, this is Zappo and it's been a while since I uploaded a new tutorial. So here it is and in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can make this camera focus effect. So let's begin. So as you can see, uh, I, already uh, I already have my clip and CC added in my composition. But let's create this uh, overlay first. So I'm gonna create a new composition uh, and keep it 1080 by 1080 pixels. Alright, uh, then select the rectangle tool and create a perfect square by holding shift. Nice, uh, then I'm gonna align it to the center. And let's create those four lines which we saw in the overlay. So turn on title for that. And select the pen tool. And while holding shift, create a perfectly straight line like this all right so we need three more lines like this uh, you can do it by uh, duplicating this layer three more times and uh, positioning and rotating it but i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna go into the shape properties add a repeater uh, set the number of copies to four and change the transform property of the repeater and the rotation to 90 degrees and position to zero perfect all right so also i feel it's too thick so i'm gonna decrease the width to maybe 14 14 here as well nice uh, let's go back into our main comp and add a new null layer and let's call this track uh, 1 and now the main part select the uh, bean clip and on the right side of your workspace find the tracker tracker menu and once you click it you will find various options like track camera warp stabilizer track motion and stabilize motion uh, but we're just gonna work with track motion for now so click on that and these two squares will appear so it's basically the tracker and the smaller square is basically the region which you want to track like the pixels which you want to track and the larger square is the region in which uh, after effects will try to find these pixels so i want to track her nose so i'll uh, increase the scale and make it little bit bigger all right uh, make sure you don't overscale it or it's gonna take a lot of time to uh, track it so i'm happy with this i'm uh, gonna change the target uh, click on edit target and select the null layer which we just created because we had only one null layer in our composition uh, so it's gonna select that by default click ok then uh, I'm just gonna track the position I'm not gonna track the rotation or scale then uh, click on the play button it's gonna take some time alright let's see how it looks uh, pretty much perfect alright so let's uh, move to the next step I'm happy with this so I'm gonna apply uh, so I'm just gonna click on apply and hit ok once again so this will add all the position keyframes to a null layer and you can see it by pressing P on the null layer and it will show us all the position keyframes which we just uh, created alright so for the next step drag the Drag the comp one to our main comp, and this is our cam uh, the focus overlay. And then parent it to the null. And then when you play it, you'll see it's perfectly tracked. Alright, so for the next step, I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer on which I'm gonna add an effect called transform. Let's 
go to the first frame while holding alt key uh, add a keyframe for the position and it's gonna bring the uh, open this uh, expression console and there you have to write wiggle with a period of 2 and amplitude of 10 and it's gonna give us this slow camera shake effect like this also let's rename this layer to camera shake perfect so let's uh, bring this below the cc so it doesn't affect it all right uh, then let's another effect for the lens blur you need to have the bcc plugins installed for that search for lens blur obs and drag it on to our main clip and change the gamma to 600 should work all right then uh, then go to the first key uh, first frame and add add a keyframe for iris scale and set it to zero go a few frames forward set it to 15 again then go to the last keyframe by pressing O and set it to 0 again and we get this nice blood effect uh, I'm gonna tweak it up a little bit so select all the blood keyframes and press F9 then go to the graph editor make sure you are in speed graph and make your graph look something like this let's see how it looks perfect then I'm gonna add another effect called transform to it transform and let's uh, make a nice zoom in zoom out effect so animate the scale for that press u to uh, reveal all the keyframes set it to 115 here go to the last key uh, last frame of our clip and set it back to 100 add a keyframe then select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them then go into the graph editor and make your graph look like this uh, once you are done you will get this really cool camera focus effect and you can use it in your edits so that's all for the tutorial i hope you enjoyed and learned something from it i'll be posting more such tutorials very soon so make sure you subscribe the channel and follow me on instagram